Hello, good to see you. My name is Tony, FM DNA, back for another tactic testing video. The tactic we're testing out today is RCS Power V12. But before we get into it, if you can please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, I'd really, truly appreciate it. I really would. So what do we do here? We choose three teams, Main City, West Ham, and Norwich. Season preview to finish 1st, 10th, and 20th. We leave the assistant manager in charge. He has to play this tactic, RCS Power V12. And then we get to the end of the season and then we add up all the points and then we put it into our fun tactic testing league table. It's all about the fun. So on the screen here is Main City's best 11 without restrictions. If you want to download this tactic, it will be in the description below. But if you can't download it for any reason, follow what I'm going to show you now. So what have we got? We've got a sweeper, keeper and support. There will be some add-on instructions, so please pause it when need be. We've got a full back on support on the left-hand side. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. We've got another ball playing defender on defend. We've got a full back support on the right hand side. We've got a central midfielder attack. We've got a ball winning midfielder support. And we've got a box to box support. Advanced playmaker support behind front two. And then we've got two advanced forward attacks with the same, with different add on instructions. So, but yeah, Jesus, take more risk, draw more, run from position. Sterling, take more risks, dribble more. And what do we have over here? We've got mentality is a positive. Tactical style is RCS power. In possession, what do we have? Attack and width fairly wide. Passing directness slightly shorter. Tempo string high. Time wasting never. Mixed crosses. Work the ball into the box. Play for set pieces. For a change, I don't think I've ever seen that for a while. Uh, in transition, what do we have? Counter press. Counter. Suit to full backs. Throw it long, out of possession, what do we have? Use offside trap, much higher line of engagement, standard defensive line, defensive width, force opposition on the outside, trigger press much more often and prevent short goal kick distributions. So that is it. Like I said, this is Main City's best level map restrictions. Now let's get straight to the results. So we're starting off in the community shield and we did beat Leicester 3-2. We got all the way to the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, but sadly lost to Arsenal, but beat Sheffield Wednesday, West Ham and Stoke City along the way in the FA Cup. It's the same story. We lost to Arsenal in the quarter-final 3-1, but we did beat Villa, Middlesbrough and Portsmouth on along the way. In the Champions League group stages, we topped it with 16 points, didn't lose a game, drew one game against Ajax 1-0, and it's not a bad little group. Ajax, Seville and Galatasaray in the knockout rounds. Sadly, we got knocked out straight away against Bayern Munich, away from home 3-1, and then at home 0-0. Not good enough. But in the league, the league is looking a lot better. We won it. 86 points, 55 goal difference, only losing four games. We drew eight. We won 26. Good. 86 points is a little bit low. We looked a lot more, but I'm just glad they won the league. Just glad they won the league. And top goal scorer, goals. Sterling with 22 goals, Kevin De Bruyne down here with 13 and Mahrez on 12. On average rating wise, who's the best performer at the club? Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, an amazing season, a 7.51. Bernardo Silva, 7.39. And John Stones and a few other guys on there. But like I say, Kevin De Bruyne, the best performer. Uh, clean sheets, we are top. Top of this one, 19 clean sheets. It's normally Liverpool, Allison, but not this time, Edison. 19 clean sheets, very good. We'll have a quick look at yellow cards, see if you need to keep an eye on it. Two guys on the top 20, I think it should be right. Team overall review, what do we have? We have most points per game with a 2.26. Most goals, a little bit low, 87. Most shots for, 773. Fewer shots against, we're in second place with 330. Best pass completion, we're not on there. Most possession, we're in seventh place with 51%. Uh, most tackles won, 5th place, 622. Most dribbles made, we are top with 610. And most clean sheets were top with 19. Fewest conceded, Liverpool still conceding only 30, but we only conceded 32 goals, which is not bad. So far, so good. We only won the league, we didn't win nothing else. Arsenal was a bit of an issue. And we did win the Community Shield, actually, against Leicester. But 86 points, not so bad. Let's go on to West Ham. So as I do at the start of the season, I'll show you West Ham's best 11 in this tactic, the RCS Power V12. Don't make a mistake, Tony. It is this tactic. Right, let's get to the results. So in the Carabao Cup, they did lose 3-1 against Aston Villa in the quarterfinal, but they beat Chelsea along the way 2-1, which is very good, and Leeds 1-0. In the FA Cup, 
it's a hell of a lot better. We've won it. 2-0 against Sheffield United. Sheffield United in the final. We beat Newcastle, Main City, Southampton, Wigan and Forest Green Rovers along the way. In the Europa League, we topped our group with 18 points. A goal difference of 22. Only conceded three goals, scoring 25. Like I say, didn't lose a point. Braga. I love a bit of Braga. Um, in the knockout rounds, they done really, really well. They went on to win it. Napoli in the final, 1-0. They beat Real Betis along the way. Lazio, Monaco, and like I said, Napoli in the final, 1-0. Not bad at all. FA Cup, Europa League, so, so good. In the league, it's not bad either. Sixth place, four places above this season preview, 64 points. 35 goal difference is very good. Lost 12 games, drew 7, won 19. I don't think that's bad at all. European football next season. Obviously, it's going to be Champions League because they won the Europa League. Top goal scorer I can see on here for us, for West Ham, in second place, 22 goals. Bowen with 19 goals. So the front two, 40 goals to pair. That's pretty damn good. No one else is on there. Average ratings-wise, it's always Creswell. Kurt Zuma, Antonio for a change is getting up there. A 7.39. Uh, clean sheets. Hopefully, this is good. 10. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. It's okay. <laughs> Yellow cards wise, have a quick look. Three guys. I think that's all right as well. That's not nothing to worry about. You don't need to worry about that. Most points per game. We're in sixth place for 1.68. Most goals. Second place with 85. Most shots for. Third place with 617. Fewer shots against. We're not on there. Best pass completion. We're just moving on. Most possession. Most tackles won. Most dribbles made, we are on there, and we're top with 594. Most clean sheets, we're not on there. Fewest conceded, we do sneak in that eighth spot, only conceding 50 goals. But it's not about that, it's about this. They won the Europa League, they won the FA Cup, they come sixth place in the league, 64 points, four places above their season preview. Fantastic. Norwich, don't let me down. So at the start of the season, this is Norwich's best 11 without restrictions, and for one last final time, let's get to the results. So they got to the quarter-final of the Caraba Cup, losing the main city, 3-0. They did have someone sent off, but it's not about that. It's about this. They beat Liverpool along the way, 3-1. Sunderland, okay. And Bolton Wanderers, 4-2. In the FA Cup, it's a bit of deja vu. They lost against Man City, 3-1, with someone sent off again. And they beat Brentford, Cheltenham and Hull City along the way. In the league, the league's very good. Deja vu, unbelievable. Fifth place, 60 points. Goldham's a 15, lost 14, drew 6, won 18, and like I say, 5th place, Europa League football next season. Goals-wise, Pukki with 26 goals. Fantastic. Rashika down there with 13 goals. Average ratings-wise, who do we have? Do we have anyone on there? We do. Pukki in 16th spot with a 7.24. Uh, clean sheets, what do we have? Uh, Tim Krull with uh, 6 clean sheets. Not bad, not bad, not great. But not bad. They normally do pick up a fair few yellow cards. But we've only got one guy on there. Norman with 13 yellow cards. So yellow cards wise you don't need to worry about this tactic. We're in 5th place. We are on a 1.58 most points per game. And then uh, most goals. We're in 4th place with 75 goals. Most shots for. We're in 6th place with 501. Um, fewer shots against. We're not on there. Best pass completion. We're not on there. Most possession. We're not on there. But most tackles won, we are on there in 6th spot with 611. Most draws made were top with 530. Most clean sheets were not on there. Fewest conceding were not on there. But not bad. Not bad at all. It's the league. 60 points. Fantastic. Main City ruined it in both cups. Right, let me add up all these points and put it into our fun tactic testing league table that's coming up next. So RCS Power V12 doesn't make onto the top 20. It won 63. It drew 21. It lost 30. A goal difference of 105. And it ended with 210 points. It will be in the description below. 10 points away. We have tested so many great tactics. It's hard to get into this top 20 leaderboard. If you like the look of some of these tactics on the leaderboard, I've made a video on all of them. Go check out the video. Let me know what the best tactic you use is. And is there a tactic I've not tested out that you think I should? Please get in contact. Thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.